I wanted to spend a few minutes and talk about the uh, um, various characteristics or uses of of links and flows, because partly because there there has in fact been some updates recently, and and also a few people have expressed a, a couple of concerns or questions about them. So so we simplified the the labels so that it's just link and flow now, as opposed to use links and use flows. Uh, and because Insight Maker was initially defined as, or designed as a, a modeling and simulation environment with stock and flow diagrams, there there was a very rigid definition of of what represented valid connections for links and flows, so that a, a link is used to communicate a value from from one point to another. And you could use a link to communicate a value from from a variable to a variable, from a variable to a flow, from a stock to a flow, uh, from from a flow to a flow. Though you could only use a link to communicate an initial value to a stock, which would assign the value when the simulation started, but would have no effect after the simulation started. And and as I said, it it communicates a value from one point to another, but it has no effect whatsoever on the source of that variable or the source of, of that information. A flow, on the other hand, actually represents the migration of some quantity of something from one point to another, and it only it can only modify a stock either to add something to a stock, remove something from a stock, or move something from one stock to another. Now, when you when you look at the the well, we as I said, they flows or links and flows were developed initially to to do stock and flow diagrams. Though with some of the other things that were implemented, the the rules were relaxed for links, just so that we could do other types of diagrams. So that I can actually create a, a link from from a stock to a stock, which doesn't make much sense whatsoever in the context of a stock and flow diagram. Or I can create a, um, a piece of text, and I can create a link from text to a variable, or I can create a link from a variable to text. I could create links from from folders to text or text to folders, and so really you can form a link from from anything to anything. Though don't do it in the context of of a real stock and flow simulation model. Now the other thing about links are that when you define a link, it has a, a name and a note characteristic, so that you can in fact actually add a note to a link if you choose to, so that when somebody mouses over over it, there is a note that can be popped up. If you select a link, hold down the shift key, you can click on it and add little nodes so that you can restructure the direction of the link itself. It's supposed, supposedly you're supposed to be able to hold down the shift key shift key and remove these nodes but there's a problem with MX graph that's not been fixed so that once you create one of these um, links that is shaped in some way if you want it if you want to get rid of the nodes you need to grab one end of it disconnect it and put it back and it will turn it back into a straight link also the default name for a link is link and if you leave it that way nothing shows up but I, if you actually create some name for it, it will position that label on the link itself. And if you reshape the link, the label may in fact not be in the right place, but notice that it has a little yellow dot in the middle of it so that you can, you can select it and you can reposition the label. If you then go back and remove, either change it back to link or remove it completely, then the the link is gone. You can also have links which are bi-directional, so that there are arrows going in both directions. 
so that the at the ways in which you can configure a link are relatively limited though there are more extensive um, parameters for a flow because it actually represents the flow of something from from into a stock out of a stock or from one stock to another and you can indicate whether or not um, the stock can be one direction or bi-directional so if I change this to no then it actually has an arrow going in both directions indicating that it's a, it's a bi-directional flow um, other things being um, you can define a, sl a slider to use to to define the value of that flow you can establish a set of constraints and units for it in the same way that you develop oh and you can have multiple flows from a stock and you can reposition the same way that you reposition or restructure links if you select a flow and hold down the shift key and click on it you'll get a little handle which you can reposition so that the flow itself is different than or, or connected differently than it would have been otherwise though a flow only connects one handle on it so it's it's not as flexible as uh, a link but it, it seems to get by okay and if you if you want to straighten it out same thing you disconnect it and reconnect it and it'll straighten the flow back out so those are those are the alternatives for links and flows uh, the major questions that seem to come up is is how do you in fact um, cause a put nodes on a link so that you can direct it in the way that you want to around other things and how do you remove the nodes so hope this has been helpful take care see you in another video soon bye